Hi, here is how you submit your work into Blackboard for this social media communication class. Everyone has two aspects of the work each week. There's the reading and discussing, and the second part is the homework on your particular project. Now, as you know, this class is only five weeks. We've squeezed in 15 weeks of semester into five weeks to leave you half the summer free, so it is action-packed. So you go to Blackboard first off, go to Weekly Classes, click on that, and we'll start off with Week 1 Discussion. This is the reading. So you go ahead and you click on the discussion. And as you can see in Week 1, we have two chapters. We also have here, I've done a video on how you can take part in the discussion. Right now we're going over how you submit your discussion into Blackboard. So you read the chapter, you read my blog post, and now you get ready to post your comment. So you're at the blog. Here's the URL web address, this right up here at the top. And you read what I had to say, and then you come down and you leave a reply. This is where you leave your reply. And then when you finish making your comments, click on Post Comment. So now you have posted your comment. Copy this URL, just highlight it. And then you can copy using your right click button. And now we're going over to Blackboard. So we're in Blackboard, and now you're going to submit the first of two reading discussions. You have two in week one, so let's take care of the first one. You click on the title, and that'll bring you into Blackboard. And now you go here and you'll see where the due date is. You'll see the possible points that you can get on this assignment. I once again give you a summary of what the assignment is all about, and here is where you submit it. You have two ways you can submit. One is to write it on your own computer, say in Microsoft Word, and when you get all done and you save it on your computer, you can attach the file if you want by clicking here. Here's an important note. If you choose to go that route, you should know that Blackboard does not play nice with Apple computers. Um, it, it works well with Microsoft usually, but if you have an Apple computer, do not use this option. What's a safer option for everybody, and it's certainly just as easy, is go to Text Submission. So then you click on Write Submission, and here's the really easy part. What do you write? All you do is you click in here, and you paste the URL you copied from before. That's it. Just click it in here. Depending on your computer, you'll either right-click your mouse or do Control-V. The screen will tell you which you can do. So now you put in the URL there. That's all you have to do. And now you go down to the bottom and click on Submit. And when you click on Submit, it'll tell you you have now submitted the assignment. It says, Success, your submission appears on this page. And here's your confirmation number. So now you know you have submitted. How will you know what your grade is and when you've been graded? Well, what you do is go over here to My Grades. And My Grades will show you all the assignments you have pending. Now, here's week one. Remember, we're doing three weeks every one week during summer session. So you'll have multiple assignments. So here are the two reading assignments. And here are the two homework assignments for people on the social media track and two um, assignments for the people on the podcast track. So now, you see this exclamation point? What this means is you have submitted something and it has not yet been graded. When it's been graded, this hyphen will be changed into a number. So it tells you it needs grading. Now, what if you see a little blue circle, almost like a globe here? That means your submission did not go through. It means it's stuck. Go back to your side of Blackboard and try pushing it through again. A little blue globe means it did not come through. Exclamation point means it came through. And a green circle? A green circle means I have a comment for you in the submission. I allow you to submit your assignments as many times as you want. So if you did not get a 100, I give you notes as to what you can do to bring the grade up if you want to get a nice high grade average. If you ever have any questions about my comments, just email me at lcrogers at ccri.edu. And now you'll do this 
for each assignment. Every week you'll have reading assignments and every week you'll have homework assignment. And here's where it is. So if you have any questions, just email me and I hope you have a great semester.